We don't need them. You gonna add that one? <laughs> if you haven't needed them, you sure gonna need them before you check out this life. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to God and to His Son, to His Son Jesus Christ, to this pastor, this church, to everybody to make up this congregation. To God, thank and praise God for being here. At the beginning of time, we haven't been saved and sanctified. Uh -huh. That means set free, y'all. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Amen. Yeah. Baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. That's what you see sometimes. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. That picture y'all had to me that I like that picture. <laughs> amen. I've been telling my wife, amen, I like that picture. And I'm going to say, Pastor David, you did something that uh, hasn't been done. My old 19 years of age, you guys better come up and. Hey! <laughs> Praise the Lord! 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 Praise the Amen. She <laughs> likes standing in the background, but you got to come up and say a little something. I thank God for that. Now, before I, I move forward, Pastor Stephen, if you would just stand where you at. You just stand up where you are. I have every intention. I, and I, I just have to drive by here yesterday, and I see this man of God out there pulling weeds. Yes, he did. Mm. Uh, Working. And I, I told him that I wanted to present him something today. I had, my wife don't even know, I had ordered this this week and I was supposed to pick it up yesterday. And I went up yesterday and the place was closed. I had to have the engraving and the place was closed because of the Father's Day in June. Mm -hmm. And I've done business with them before and went up on Saturday pick it, but I had this plaque mm -hmm. that I had subscribed in your honor. Amen. Because, first of all, today being Father's Day, I look at this man as being a, not a good father, but a great father yeah. to his children. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. You don't have one child, but uh -huh. two children in college. Mm -hmm. To put them through college. I know that it's not easy. Amen. To even encourage his children. I can look at your children mm -hmm. and see the type of man that you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I look at the work that you're doing here with the younger children. Uh -huh. God bless you being a father. Uh -huh. This is a day that we honor fathers, ain't that right? Yeah. So, I, I, Pastor Staples, it has on, on that plaque, it has today's date presented to you on June the 18th, 1900. Excuse me, 2000. <laughs> <laughs> well, Y'all talking to my head, not my heart. 2023. From the times that I've, I've known you, uh, I tell you all the time, good man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good man. And this is there, I want to honor you with the word, with the plaque. I will pick it up tomorrow and, and bring it by your house or present, bring it here. To be presented to you. That's why I text you early to get a picture of the church. And I want to have a picture of this church on me. But I would say, God bless you, man of God. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. God bless you, Father. Mm -hmm. And God bless the work that you are doing. Yes. Amen. Here in this church with these children. Yes. Glory to, to God. God bless you. Yes. Before I move any further, I want to say uh, uh, I thank God. I truly I thank God for my wife. She presented me with a Father's Day card, and I told her this morning, I said, honey, this is probably the best card I ever read. <laughs> Amen. She expressed her love for me. <laughs> and I appreciate that. And I want to say, I, she I already got up, I mean, she didn't know that I don't have her get up and say something, and she already has. But we also have a, not just a, a good friend, but a good neighbor who comes, she follows me. Mm -hmm. And she has great respect for me. She, she is a good, good neighbor. Mm -hmm. You don't find people like that that uh, you give a key to your house. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm saved. So she's dying. If you want to stand, say something. And please do. Kept on believing. Mm. Kept on doing. 
know what God sent him? Yeah. Went to the doctor, was it yesterday or Friday? And uh, y'all know what my PSA was? Mm -mm. Tell them. 2.8. Woo! Glory, glory. During this critical time, I had lost 25 pounds. Y'all know I'm not big like property anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I had lost 25 pounds. God had blessed me to gain 12 of it back already. Mm. I couldn't do anything around the house. I'm cutting my own grass. Yep. Doing my own weeding. Yes, sir. Doing my own pain. And not only that, I just started back to exercising again. There you go. God is a good God. Mm -hmm. I, if, if I didn't tell you uh -huh. that I had ever been sick, Maybe. you wouldn't know. Uh -huh. The radiation doctor said, you don't have to come back and see me no more. Remember the oncologist, he said, well, you look good. <laughs> and when me and Shirley talked about this, I said, this is what we've been praying for, eh? Yeah. And see, I have this understanding that I believe God is a deliverer from stage four cancer. Yes. All right. But there's a difference between believing and knowing. Yeah. yeah. You know now. We have to exercise faith to get from believing to knowing. Yeah. That's the only way to get there. Yeah. Mm. I don't care what it is. I know God is a, a deliverer because he delivered me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so, when I first got saved, I believed God was a deliverer. Mm -hmm. But through exercise and faith and obedience, I know he is. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is where God wants us to be. Amen. Now, one of the things that they told me that Side effects, but the medication I took was hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all will excuse this jacket, yeah. <laughs> I had one a little while ago. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. We I was understand. sitting back there. <laughs> and yeah, uh, it was getting warm up in here. Yeah. <laughs> I sleep. The ceiling fan going. Uh, <laughs> a fan blowing on me. Sure won't let me leave the air conditioner on too, but that's just too much. <laughs> For the first hour, I'll be fine. <laughs> then the next hour, I gotta kick all the clothes and everything uh -huh. off. But ladies, I sympathize with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they told me that uh, I was gonna have hot. And so I just thank God. I thank God. I thank God for who he is and what he is to me. Mm. And on top of that, God has blessed us. Isn't he sure? Yeah. Mm. The things I can't even tell you, y'all. Mm. Amen. Amen. God is still a way maker. Yes. yes. God is still a miracle worker. Yes. yes. God is still a promise keeper. Yes. He still light in the darkness. Yeah. He is my way out. Yeah. Our way out. Amen. Amen, family. <laughs> Amen. Now, if you would get your Bibles. Amen. I want to. Can we stand, church? Amen. Go to. Amen. Stand. I want to go to the book of Luke. 15 chapter. And I'll start at the 11th verse. And the subject on today is the compassionate father. And in order to 
understand the subject, we got to know what it means to be compassionate. And that's feeling or showing sympathy or concern for others. The act, to act on that person's behalf. That's what compassion means. But as we read Luke, I'm try to pull it up here, the 15th chapter, I'm going to read to the 11th, verse from 11th verse to the 21st, 21st, 24th verse. A certain man had two sons, and the young of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth to me. And he divided to them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his subject with rise his living. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. Mm -hmm. And he began to be in want. Mm -hmm. Man. And when he had joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into, and he sent him into the fields to feed the swine. Amen. And he would have, and he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. Amen. Seventeen. And when he came to himself, yes, he said, "How many hired servants of my father had bread enough?" And to, and to spare, and I perish with hunger. Yeah, yeah. I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of the hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion yes. and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Mm. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Mm -hmm. But the father said unto his servant, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him. And put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring him the fattest calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. Right. For thy son was dead and is alive again; he was lost and he is found, and they begin to be merry. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 A compassionate father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A father that had feelings and showed sympathy for his son. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He had concern for his son even when he was into a far country. <laughs> As we read Luke, the 15th chapter, and 11 to the 21st verse, 24th verse, the story most of the people. They focus on the son, the prodigal son. Yes, yes. Who wasted his living with rights of living. But today, being Father's Day, I want to turn our attention to the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, right? And I, I think that from the very outset, I can say that God is a compassionate father. Yeah, right. Yes, he is. I can say that. Amen. If you turn to the book of Psalms, the 86th chapter, mm. and the 14th verse, it says, Oh God, the proud are risen up against me, and the sinners of the violent men have sought after my soul. And have not sent thee before them. 
15 verse. But thou, Lord, art a God full of compassion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And gracious yes. and long suffering yes. and plenteous in mercy. Yes. 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 Explains that God is full of compassion. And I older for parents and grandmothers and they used to say what they used to say when something went right, Lord have mercy. Yeah. And that's what they used to say, Lord have mercy. Because they understood. Yes, sir. They understood that God was full of mercy and compassion. Yeah. So they would be pleased, even though we didn't know they were pleased, they would plead by these simple words, Lord have mercy. So they understood. Mercies of God, the compassion of God. Now go to Psalms, the 103rd Psalm. Mm, yes. 103rd Psalms in the 13th verse. And it said, Life as a father pitieth his children. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Like a father pitied his own children. God pities every one of us. Yes, he does. That fear him. Why? Yeah, yeah. And you go to the 14th verse, it says, For he knoweth our frame. Yes. And he remembered that we ain't nothing but us. us. Yes. Preach, brother. I don't care. You see how good uh, Pastor Luke with that expensive suit laying on him. But that suit laying on dust. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. I don't care how good you look this morning. Uh -huh. What you got on is draped over dust. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. I don't care what we may think about each other. Mm -hmm. How high I go. Where I live, mm -hmm. what my financial status is. Uh -huh. We were all created from nothing but yeah. the dust. Yeah. Yeah. This is what God pities. Yeah. Uh -huh. God understands. Woo. God knows. So I ain't used to be getting too lifted up in my own self. Yes, sir. Because God remembers. Let us look at the scriptures. Let's go back to the scripture that Luke, hallelujah, God. This is the scripture that motivated Jesus to tell this story. Think about it. He read it from 11 to 24. But the scriptures that motivated Jesus to tell this story. It said, then drew near to him the publicans and sinners for to hear him. Yeah. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, mm. This man received a sinner and eateth with him. This prompted a response from Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Now, it says, This man Eateth with them. sin. Yeah, yeah. We know that the Pharisees were religious people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Scribes were the writers of the law. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And it said, now, who, who came against him real quick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jewish people. Oh, yeah. Preach, love. Preach, love. You gotta watch uh -huh. us church people when you go to doing good. Yes. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Go back to the first verse again. My great. They drew near to him. Now he was talking to sinner folk. 
He was talking to sinners. Yeah, yeah. They came to hear Christ Jesus. Second verse. Hallelujah. And the Pharisees and the scribes, they got the murmuring. Yeah. yeah. See, when you go out to talking to the worldly folks, the church folks get a little irritated. Uh-huh. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> yes, they do. They said, this man receiveth, he receiveth a sinner. Pastor Stanley, he going out talking to them broad people. He going out yeah. talking to these other folks. Uh-huh. Preach. But our folks stick up in the church. We begin to murmur and talk Woo. about it. Yeah. <laughs> So guess what? Christ Jesus had to go a little further. He had to talk to him in parables now. Yeah, yeah. He had to use parables to hide the word of God from unbelievers. Mm -hmm. See, we've been programmed to talk that Christ Jesus, he spoke in parables to enhance the word of God. Mm -hmm. We've been programmed and taught that. That Christ spoke in parables so you can get a better understanding. Mm. All right. That's what we've been taught. But I want you to read, I want you to go with me to the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 10th and right. 11th verse. All right. And his disciples came to him and said to him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Lord, why are you speaking in parables? Let me break down what a parable is. All right. Yeah. Teach Go ahead. Hallelujah. Woo. A parable can be two truths that run side by side with one another. Yeah. 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 To make one allegorical story. Uh huh. All right. Preach a little. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. So Christ begin to speak in parable now. Yeah. And I want you to know as I'm coming to summit, he spoke three parables unto him. Basically, two, two parables, and one, the third parable was an allegorical story. Oh, that's good. Teach to them, sir. He answered and said unto them, Because of, this is what we've been taught. We were taught this, because it's given to you yeah. mm. to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it's not given. Mm. Ooh, Lord. Uh. It's given to God's people to understand the mysteries. But to everybody else, it's not. Mm -hmm. That's why I talk in parables. Mm -mm -mm. They understood. They understood. The parables just enhance that for believing people. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The world's still trying to figure it out. Yes, sir. And they ain't figured it out yet. So all these, all these many years we talk. Well, God speaking parables, so so we, so people can, well, people can get a better understanding. No, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Jesus, He's speaking parables to enhance us. Now, we go back to Luke the fifteenth chapter. Brother Grace, can you get the start at the fourth verse? Can you go back to the book? No, I can pull it up. Amen. Yeah, 15 and 4. 15 and 4. A compassionate father. Someone that has feeling. Showing sympathy. And concern for others. That's why I want to give Pastor Staples the plaque. Because he does this. We go to the fourth verse. Amen. Now, Christ spoke in parables. This was the first one right here. He's saying, now what man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, do not leave the ninety and the nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. Which one of you is? To have a hundred sheep. And we know God style us as sheep, don't we? Yep. Amen. Fifth verse. And when he had found it, 
he lay it on his on his shoulders rejoicing. Yeah. When he find that one sheep, yeah. everybody happy. He's happy. Amen. Say first. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me. Yes. For I found my sheep which was lost. All right. That's a parable. Six, seven verse. And I say to you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over the ninety and the nine just persons which need no repentance. Now, Pastor, what are you talking about? Preacher, what you saying? Christ said, and I've heard now through years that I was understood and say Christ will let them know. In a, in, a, in, a, in a different way. Because he said in a different book, he said, now, the healthy don't need no doctor. That's it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he come because the sick need a doctor. Yes, 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 yes. So these folks, well, I want you to understand, now, the 99, they're okay. I got to go after that one. All right. Yeah. yeah. A person. Even one woman, this is no, even one woman having ten pieces of silver. If she lose one piece, do not light a candle and sweep the house. She light a candle and sweep the house until she find it. All right. Now, if you lose some silver, some money. We get real diligent. <laughs> phone can ring. I ain't got time to ask the phone now. I just lost my money. All right. It says now, and what a woman, second pair, yeah. having 10 pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, do not light a candle and sweep the house. So the money was lost in the house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ooh. Just like some of us, we lost, but we in the house. Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm, mm, mm. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. The church house. <laughs> and say, mm. it was lost in the house, and uh, like church folks, <laughs> they come to the house, but they lost. Yes, sir. Mm, mm. Yes. They sing in the choir, but they lost. Yes, yes. sir. Mm, they give it an offering, but they lost. Yeah. They come to Bible study, but they lost. Yes, mm. I'm lost, but yet I'm in the house. Oh God. So what is necessary? Yeah. It's that she began to sweep the house. Ooh. She began to sweep. That means she began to check out. She began to look very diligent. She began to look very, very diligent. She was very concerned about what she had lost. Yes, sir. I'm in the house, but I'm lost. Yeah. Until she found it, night first. And when she found it, she called her friends and her neighbors together. I done got with Pastor. I done got with y'all. Now it's time to rejoice. Yes, yes. I done found my piece of money. Now after I done swept, Everything has been swept out. Mm -hmm. Other words, like church folk, after I done repented. Woo, yes. And I done come to God. Yes. And I've been found. Yeah. How many of us know? You ain't looking for God when God's looking for you. Mm -hmm. God not lost. That's right. That's right. We lost. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Mm-hmm. You look for God. But God looks for you. Amen. Ten verse. Likewise, I said, let me enjoy the presence of the angels of God over one sinner again to go back to that thing that repented. See that if I'm in the house and I have repented and gave my life to God, yeah. I'm still lost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
It didn't say she didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. She couldn't find it. And they said, I don't mean well. Well, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> Not your person. And when she found it, she called her friends and her wife and her neighbors together saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I have lost. Ten verses. Likewise, I said, is there a joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents? That's, uh, that's all right. right. That's right. That's right. Now, praise the Lord. We're going to go to the third parable, which is an allegory, a story. Thank you. Fifteen and eleven says, a certain man had two sons. Young one said to his father, Father, give me a portion of the goods that fall to me. And he divided to him them his living. He said, he gave it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, because what makes it an allegorical story is because normally the father would have to die before the right, right, right. The inheritance would be divided. Am I right about it? Yeah. So Christ was telling him. A story in a fashion that he wanted him to understand. So first for certain, let me read the next verse. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together yeah. hmm. and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with righteous living. He took his journey. Now, being an Israelite, I don't know what country he journeyed into. But I do know this. Being brought up as an Israelite, uh -huh. yeah. under the guidelines and the rules and the principles of Israel, uh -huh. whenever he got outside of that, he was in a far country. Yes, uh -huh. uh, hallelujah. Now, today, a lot of people who don't leave town, they, they haven't left town, but they're in a far country. Uh -huh. Because they are in the places that do not speak of salvation. Now, young people, when you start running with the, in the area where they're doing drugs and alcohol, you're in a far country. Yes, sir. When you start getting with the crowd that is about everything above it, but except Jesus Christ, you're in a far country. Yeah, preach. And those of us, church going people, yes, <laughs> who've been in the church five and 10 and 15 and 20 and 25 years, and not honoring God like the Bible says, you in a far country. Uh -huh. yeah. And those of us who can't stop, who stop coming to the church on Sunday. For any old reason, you're in a far country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you can't give to the house of God, uh -huh. like you're supposed to give to honor God and the work that He's doing, you are in a far country. All right. Yeah. Yes. When we take our talents, young people, mm -hmm. when you take your talents that God has given you to sing or to play music. And then you take it out there to the world. For profit, you're in a far country. Yeah. Preach, yeah. preach, yeah. preach, preach, preach. Yes. Praise God. Yes. yes. God has blessed us. Yes, he has. Now, read the 14th verse. And when he has spent all, he spent all. There arose a mighty famine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there arose a famine in the land. He began to be in want. Yes. See, he didn't waste up his substance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Not only did he waste up his substance, and that's what the world will have you do. Waste up everything that God has given you. Yes, yes. sir. And uh, there was a famine. 
How many know it's a famine in the land now? Yeah. 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 It's a famine in the land. 15th verse. And he went and joined himself. And he made himself to a citizen of that country. Mm -hmm. In other words, he had got outside of what he was taught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got outside of what he knew was right. All right. He got outside of what he was taught and joined himself to another country. And they had sent him into the fields. Mm -hmm. They sent him in the fields to feed the swine. Back in my day, I look at Mother Birdie and some of the older folks here, Brother Spock and some of the older people, and these young folks don't know nothing about it. Pat knows, and he just wants to know. And they feed the swine. They call it Swap the Hall. Yes, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it, yeah. So he was almost ready to go, to go Swap the Hall. That's yes. 16 verse. And would have vain have filled his belly with the husk. That the swine did eat. Hallelujah. The only reason he did so, no man gave it to him. Mm -mm -mm. So if you think about it, he got down on his hand and knee like this. Oh God. Woo. He about to eat what the hog was gonna eat. Yeah. Uh huh. Because he had drawn himself into a far country. Yeah. He had wasted up all his substance. Yeah. Yeah. And there rose a famine in the land. Yeah. And now I'm hungry. Uh -huh. And the swamp began to look good to me. Oh, yeah. God. The swamp began to look good to me. Hallelujah, God. Yeah. I was often taught when we take what God give us mm -hmm. and take it to the world, mm -hmm. when the devil get finished with it, you come running back. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't underestimate what the devil will do to your children. No, Don't underestimate what God will do to your sons and daughters. Yeah, yeah. Don't underestimate what God will do to you. Uh -huh. yeah. Preach, brother. You give up this mind. Mm -hmm. I fight to hold on to this mind, mom, with no, mm -hmm. I don't care who goes. Uh -huh. I told my wife, if you don't go, I got to go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I done told her out yeah. for God. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. Now, so he almost did eat. 17th verse. And this is now, uh, this is so important. He was almost about to eat. Yeah, yeah. But when he came to this cell, <laughs> see, he, yeah. he was down up in the city. And when he came to yes, his sir. cell, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he came to his cell yes, sir. and he began to think, how many high servants uh -huh. did my father have? He had bread enough to spare. And I'm out here perishing. I'm hungry. He came to his senses. Yes, Lord. How many of us need to come to our senses? Yeah. How many yeah. of us need to come to ourselves? Yeah. And say, I'm not where I'm supposed to be in God. Yeah. I'm not doing what God say do. Yeah. I'm in a far country. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus. And you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with me. And I'm in the same vicinity as the church. Yeah. And I can't get there for weeks and months at a time. Hallelujah. You preach, brother. All right. Preach little. Preach little. I'm in a far country. Yeah. yeah. I just got to be around where they, where they doing the drugs and the alcohol. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm in a far country. Get there. And I'm ladies when. Young boy, try to get you to give up your chase. That lets you know they ain't a far country. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah, God. He said, when he came to himself, he said, How many high servants of my father had bread enough to spare? Yeah. And I'm out here, I'm perishing with hunger. Go and read 18 verses. I'm going to pop in, huh? I will arise. I will arise and go to my father. Yes, sir. I'm going back to my father. Yes, sir. Before thee, 19 verse. I'm going to rise and go back to my father. 
I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Uh -huh. Made me as one of the high servants. Yeah. yeah. I'm just ready. I just want to serve now. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't have to be looked on as special. Oh yeah. yeah. I just wanted to be one of the servants. Twenty-first, and he arose and came to his father. There's a period right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But. But. Mm. But. Ah. <laughs> you see, uh, when he was young, a great way off. Yes, sir. When he was a great way off, his father began to see. Yeah. He saw him coming down the road. And he understood, said, that's my boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He wasn't dressed like he used to be dressed. But that's my boy. Yeah. He didn't have proper shoes on his feet. But that's my boy coming. Yeah. He was probably a home. He had compassion. Yes, sir. He had compassion. He had sympathy for me. Amen. Amen. And ran. He ran. Uh huh. He, he ran over to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ran over to me. And guess what? He threw his arm around. Yeah. Yeah. He gave him some sugar. He gave him a kiss. Ah, that's my child. That's my boy coming. Oh. And yeah, uh -huh. and he did. Not only did he do that, read the 21st book. Mm -hmm. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned yeah. against heaven and in thy sight. And I'm no more worthy to be called the son of God. But the, the compassionate father, he didn't want to hear another that. He didn't want to hear none of that. Hallelujah, God. Pastor, I want you to take this, just take this off of there. Take the pastor off. I want you to open it all the way. Ah, you see, this is my son coming. This is my son coming. Hallelujah, God. And y'all know I ain't had no shoes on since I've been up in the That's all right. <laughs> take those too. And he said, now, uh, but the father said as a servant, I don't want to hear nothing that you got to say. He told the servants to go back and say, bring the best robe. Yeah. I want you to open that robe up. I want you to put that robe on me. Uh, he said, now, bring the best robe. Yeah. Bring a robe for my son. Yeah. I'm the compassionate father. Yeah. And I know I want you to put the robe on him. And then I want you to put some shoes on his feet. Yeah. Ah, put some shoes on that boy's feet. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. Yeah. This is why I wore these flip ons today. <laughs> now, not only that, not only that, I want you to put a ring on his finger. All right. Put a ring on his finger, on his hand. Shoes on his feet. Yeah. Put that ring on his finger. Yeah. Because my boy was lost. Yeah. But now he's back. Woo! My, Woo! my child, he didn't waste his little right to live. Yeah. But he can come home. Hallelujah. They kill. Oh, God. Kill the fattest cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's prepare a dinner. I want you to kill the fattest cat. We're going to eat, drink, and be mad. Yeah. For he was dead. Yeah. And now he's alive again. Yeah. He was yeah. lost. And now he's fine. Yeah. And they begin to make men hurt. Hallelujah, God. The compassionate father. I wanted it to be full of ribs. Have sure to fix some ribs. But I want you to understand. Halfway down. Yes, sir. Halfway down. Halfway okay, down. Okay. But yeah, for my son was dead. Mm -hmm. And alive again. Yeah. 
Mm-mm. Why do you do this? Mm-mm. Why do you do that? He put a rope on him. Not, not just a rope, but say the best rope. The best rope. But as we journey on to the rest of the scriptures, as they were making Mary, the old son came. Mm-hmm. He heard about Yes, yes, yes. Because I don't understand. Oh, Lord. That was a bad mindset that boy had. He said, now, my son, my brother, your younger son, For him to understand, ain't you don't have to be upset because you haven't been promoted. Amen. I say ain't promoted me. I've been here ten years. He ain't never done nothing for me. Mm. If you are a child of God, yes, yes. everything God has belongs to you. Yes, prosperity belongs to you. Yeah. Deliverance belongs to you. Yeah. You worried about the kid. Mm-mm. You worried about this little man. Hallelujah. We don't worry about it. He doesn't belong to me. Mm-hmm. The prosperity belongs to me. Yeah. Life and more abundantly. Brother Fan belongs to me. Yes, sir. We don't worry about it because I ain't been promoted. Hallelujah. The Father said, All that I had belonged to you. Now, in closing, anyone that went in. 
it to a far country. Anybody that's been to a far country, you know, you know, like I said, you can be in a far country and they never left the grandma. <laughs> Anybody in a far country and all the time they say, come. Everything I have belongs to you. And God, but I, I want to I wanna quote part of Psalms 23. Oh, but he's going to put it up there. Okay. Okay. I get it. I want to say this. I'm going to quote it. It's Psalms 23. Still waters. He restored my soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for, the, for thy, his name's sake. Yeah. Amen. Yea. 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 Not told the God, not told them. God, not finished with me yet. Yes. Don't worry about promotion. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about 
about to come. This bad ain't going right. God is in control. Yes, yes, yes. Anybody, I'd be remiss. Anybody. I feel they are far too pretty this morning. But come back and join themselves to be a citizen of God. Don't fool yourself. Yeah, yes. Don't die in a far country. Yeah. Ooh. I die in a far country. Mm-mm. Be long. Amen. 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 With that, we say, Pastor, I thank you and bless all you for this opportunity that's been presented to me. I appreciate it to the highest. And y'all continue to pray for this little and myself. Amen. Amen. God continue to open doors, continue to make ways. Yes, yes. And I pray that. I ask you to pray that God continue to give me what He's happy to do yes. and say. Yes. Jesus, Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Come on, let's praise God again. Yeah. Good word. What a word. What a word today. Yeah. The compassion, Father. Perhaps you're here. I know you're used to the other men doing it, but Father's Day is always Sister Smith, one of those tricky days. It's um, an emotional day. If there's any day, Sister Gail, that there have been cutoffs and splits and rifts and drifts of people. It's Father's Day. Just give me the title, Brother Grace. Give me the title. I want people to focus on the title. Compassion Father. Pastor Little spoke an anointed word for us. Yeah. And thank you, Pastor Lulu, for focusing on the Father at this time. We focus so much on the lost son, and we focus so much on even the elder son who had the wrong attitude. Amen. Y'all say wrong attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong attitude. But here's what I want to invite you to do, whether you're online or when you stand up. I'm going to give you a few. Can y'all say Q? Q. 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 Here's a Q. You need to help me refocus. Turn around, Holly. I want you young people to learn to be focused. This, I want to tell you guys, this part in our worship experience is the most critical, teachable moment. Critical. All eyes should be focused on, on the front now. And in the old churches, when people would just put their head down who are already believers, praying for those yes. who are lost. Yeah. So when I just say stand, if you are here and you are lost or you're feeling lost, and I love what he reminded us, you can be in the house and be lost. Yes, Amen. right. And I believe that's true, Pastor Little. And right. if there's anything that COVID taught us about those who have not returned, for different reasons, you can be in the house and still be lost. Yeah. You can be in Bible study. Yeah. You can sing on the praise team. And I believe for some pastors, you can be preaching and be lost. Amen. Yeah. I know I'm going to lose it to my pastors. But it's true. It's true. Because the one thing that can't be compromised is the word of God. That's all right. And you know what? Sister Luke, we've even, because we want folk here, we've lowered the godly standard. Oh, Jesus. Jesus has come as you are. But you can't stay as you are. Yes, sir. I had some help right. with yes, yes, sir. I'm going to say that one more time. You can come as rag is all get out. And you, can I help someone? You can come looking like this and still be ragging. Uh huh. I'm going to help uh -huh. You can come looking as good as these three women and still be ragging. Ragging in your feeling, your thinking. And yeah. you can, when I, say, when I say that in a sense, God, 
is that I, I really haven't experienced Hey, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of us have yet to experience. Could you put that robe on me, Pastor Lou? <laughs> that shows a fine robe. <laughs> but can I, can I tell you this? Some of us, we struggle right now because, don't put it on me yet, Pastor Lou. <laughs> <laughs> because some of us, now I only told him to hold off because some of us, we are struggling with some of us I, I, I often tell people how good they say, well, you say that to everybody. No, I don't. I don't. I, 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 I don't, Mother Moss. I, I really don't. Not. Some people, because they've not received the role from their earthly father, All right. that they can't accept it from their heavenly father. All right. I wish I had some help. Y'all quiet on me. You're quiet on me, women. The women are quiet on me on this one. And no matter what the situation is, Brother Proctor, guess what? God says, listen, I, I, I know maybe. Maybe your father didn't give you the shoes. Maybe he didn't give you the ring. But here's what God is saying today. If you have been lost, God said, come here, I want, I, I, got, I, I got something for you. Amen. I've got a robe. Y'all getting quiet. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Can I help somebody? I know you're thinking, well, God is like Gage. He's got a whole lot of them. No, God's got a custom-made robe. Just Amen. It's custom, can y'all say custom-made? Amen. God, Mother Birdie, got a custom-made robe. He's already, as a matter of fact, he said, the moment you were in your, he said, I knew you. Yeah. I knitted you in your mother. Even, even, even before your mama got the ultrasound from the doctor, I already knew. Already. I knew what was going to happen to you. I knew what you were destined for. So if you're here today, whether you be on live stream, whether you be on Facebook or YouTube, I pray right now today that you experience. If you like, like the lady, you're, you're looking, and some of us who turn, you ever turned the house upside down looking for something, Sister Gail? Just looking. And you don't find it, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Sister Lacey, when you, you sit down and say, you know what, God, I'm just done with it. And then all of a sudden, you, 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 you just, it, 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 you just, it, it's, it's, it's right there and it's right by you. And you just happen to knock something over. Yes. And there it is. Yeah. Amen. And I believe God is knocking something over in somebody's life today. Say, yeah. I'm right here. So if you're here, today, all right. If you're here, and guess what? Finding Jesus is a person, but he's saying, listen, I'm here for you. So if you're here today and you, people know, you know what, Sister, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Sister Bowman. Most people, they don't really want to admit that they're lost. Mm -hmm. And I get it. But here's what I'm saying. You don't, you don't have to say, you don't have to say, you can stop saying Sui, Sui. Yeah. Sui. You know what Sui is, don't you? Yep. That's how my grandfather said that's how you call pigs. That's right, so. Yeah, yeah, right. But God in his own way is saying, come on. So if you're here today. And not just, if you don't have Christ, first of all, it's for you, it's an invitation. But second, maybe. You have a lost relationship with a father, a lost relationship with a mother, a lost relationship with somebody that you need to, you need to restore. I want you to come today. Maybe you need prayer today. I want you to come. Praise the Lord.
you know something little, you can't ask her and send her no because she'll tell you no. He said, just do it. But what God did tell me is that there is another assignment and there's another place that he's going to put you and me to lead. There's yeah. people that need a pastor and a first lady with the Lord. I assure you that. And so God said, anoint you for this. Jesus. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. But God said, you be ready, Sister Show. You be ready. Yeah. And God says, anoint them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you for these yes. your son and yes. son and daughter, God. God, I don't know where you're sitting, but where you are, God. They're ready. They're willing and they're able, God. So, Father God, I lay hands and pray on them right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, I pray to in the name of Jesus, God. You make the ground fertile. Yeah. Make the path straight. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. God is already there. And God, I think about it. You have taken them through what you've taken them through as a test. And God, they are coming out as pure gold. Mm -hmm. So God, we anoint them. Jesus. Wherever you take them, God, lead them out. Use them for your glory, God. Yes. Yes. Your word says, pray to them, shall you do. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Michael, in my name. Shirley, in my name. God, we thank you for the littles. We thank you for the word that came today. And God, we thank you for where you're taking them. And God, we accept that it's none of our business. <laughs> it's your business. But I know, God, you're taking them somewhere to do greater things. Thank you, God, for what they brought to us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 